And today we're doing a bit of animal behavior. You can see over there, got a, a couple of black wildebeest. Our typical behavior, they'll stay together. When they start running, they'll run in circles. So that's a good thing. It tells me that they are healthy and fit. See, we've got some zebras there as well. Now, when observing zebras, they always stay together. Typical family herd. When you see them walking alone, you know there's something up. Especially if a female walks alone, you'll know that she's either weak or she's busy giving birth. So the female will go away from the herd, have a baby, and she'll keep the baby away from the, from the other zebras for about a couple of days or even weeks, just so that, that baby can get used to her stripes alone. What you can learn from animal behavior is so amazing, especially when animals are sick, when they're showing signs of sickness. You can pick it up so easily when you know what the animal's behaviors are. You can, for instance, see if an animal is sick, why is it sick? You can go and look at the grasses. You can see, listen, there's something wrong with the nutrition. What am I gonna do to improve that before we lose animals? Now, when it comes to the social structures of your animals, each one has their own unique way of operating. Your impalas and your springbuck have a certain groups that they follow. You get your bachelor groups, you get your herds. Uh, in certain times of the year, in the wet season, the males will try to herd the females onto their ground. Things like that that you, you're supposed to know. Um, if they don't do that, why do they not do that? Um, there's certain things that you have to look out for with animal behavior.